The department have strongly signals that they will change the registration system next year and that will be a big change for everybody. We've had that system for 35 years now and people know it and they like it very much. The change isn't too drastic but instead of 13D or 13C next year it looks like what we'll have is 131, so 131 for the first six months of the year and 132 for the next six months of the year. Um, and there's two virtues to that as far as the trade is concerned. Firstly, it gets them around a paranoia they'd had that people might be afraid of the number 13 and would actually avoid buying a car for that reason. That might be overstated, but it was probably there as a, as a small factor and I think they're pleased to have it gone. The bigger thing is that up to now, the Irish car trade has got a distorted year. Because of our date coding system, most of, if not all, of new car sales are achieved in the first six months. In fact, it's about 80% of all car sales in the first four months of a year. Moving to having a, a, a registration change in January and again in July will, if you like, give the trade twin peaks and should allow them to spread out demand more across the year. And I, I guess the trade will be happy with that and motorists really should have little or no objection. Well, the road tax situation is a mess, to be honest with you. Now, that's not exclusively the fault of the current government. In fact, it was the last government that really messed it up back in 2008. They switched from taxing on engine size to taxing on tailpipe emissions. And that was fine, perfectly good idea. The problem was they froze those bans back in 2008. And now as we reach the end of 2012, those five-year-old standards are meaningless. So we have a situation now where 90% of all new car sales fall into tax band A or tax band B. And that really is devastating government revenue. It means that brand new cars, even executive luxury model cars, are actually paying the cheapest possible rate of road tax. So it seems likely that what government will do is they will change those rules and effectively up the road tax for all new cars from January next onwards. Now we haven't got that confirmed yet, it's still just a rumour coming out of government buildings, but it looks likely that that's what they're going to do. And we would warn them, motorists will be livid. They will get a very, very strong backlash to this. Uh, nobody likes paying road tax, even if we accept the necessity, and simply jacking those taxes up even if it's something they should have been cognizant of in 2008, is something that will very much uh, frustrate and annoy motorists, particularly this year. And we communicate very regularly with motorists. We conduct our online panels and surveys where we get fantastic numbers of Irish motorists telling us about their experience. We know that the cost of fuel is crucifying people. Now, you don't need to be a genius to figure that out, but at 170 a litre for petrol, of which nearly 95 cent is going to the government in taxation, it really is putting a massive strain on people's everyday lives. And we can see that happening. People are unable to pay their road tax. They're putting it off. People are putting off car servicing. And we're seeing that firsthand. I mean, we're, we're fixed well over 100,000 cars on the roadside every year. So we see exactly what's going on out there. And there is evidence that people are not servicing their cars in order to save money. And, you know, everybody is in that situation. That's actually probably costing the money long term because of increased car maintenance. And certainly we're seeing the car fleet get older. We're seeing people cut back on car maintenance. And from the AA's point of view, it means they need us more. So we're getting more call outs. And you know, we're actually getting more people join and stay with the AA precisely because they've done that rationale. I'm not going to change the car. I'm going to hang on to the old car a little longer. Well, I better make sure I've got cover. So it's interesting. You can literally see the dynamic playing out there on the roadside. There's far few newer cars being sold. People are holding on to older. They're really struggling with the running costs and the maintenance. Things like an extra quid levy on our insurance prices doesn't help either. So that is the landscape into which government is trying to sell next year's budget. Um, I think upping the car tax is probably the worst thing they could do in terms of convincing motorists that they know what they're up to. I think there will be a very strong backlash against it.